Hey, Victor. Hey, Oliver. How are you? Good. Are we? I was late. Are we the only two? Uh, I was also late, so I wasn't sure. Like, uh, if Taylor just uh, uh, ended the meeting, or like, I don't know. Yeah, that was strange. I had a I had a meeting run over, so I didn't I couldn't get to it any sooner. But yeah, um, <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's see if he's. Yeah, I'm, I'm just checking the the Slack channel. Um, yeah, I was doing the same thing. Yeah, he didn't say anything. Um, hmm. Well, I don't know. Um, do you want to take advantage of this time or like discuss something or like a, or talk about something? I mean, not this doesn't have to be like with a um, yeah. working group yeah. or. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, well, let me let me say this. Um, I'm just trying to go to our, uh, I'm going to the repo there where we have our, um, mm -hmm. I think we had, yeah, I, <clears throat> I think one of the best practices that I think, you know, we've been talking about for a while, and I don't know how we get past, you know, how I know it needs some work, uh, and I've been trying to make some comments and, you know, uh, you know, make some contributions to it. Uh, I'm, I find a little hard to navigate it, uh, the best practice document itself, right? But I, in that, uh, for the CNF container should have one process category, there's a draft proposal. And so I, I started putting some things in there. I, I, I would be, I don't know if you know, it's that common, but I mean, I would be happy to like set aside some time and work together. Uh, mm -hmm. If that would be a way to do it, maybe even with Taylor, you know, just cause I feel like before we get this one finished, we're talking about different ones. And I don't know, I just feels like for, and I'm, I don't, I'm not pointing criticism or anything, but it just feels like we start something and then before we know it, nothing happens. And then we start a new one. And then kind of the same thing happens with that. I, I, it feels like we need an effort to get this one over the, you know, push it to the finish line and then, you know, be done with it and then pick up the next one? Or or is that just me? I mean, I, do you know what I mean? It feels like if I think of just like using Nephew, you get something, you work at it, you get it done, and then you say, okay, well, what's the next one coming? It's not, we don't have obviously a formalized release mm -hmm. for best practices, but I maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea, you know, like pick two, pick two best practices or, or pick, you know, have a collection and say, which ones do we want to have? You know, which ones do we think we can have out in the first call it a release, you know what I mean, but just to have a focus. Otherwise, it's just so easy to say, is there any new topics? And then new topics come up and you never finish the old topic. Yeah, I know what I, what you mean. Like, uh, that's true. Like, uh, it's very done and perfect. So yeah, let's let's try to just release something, but <laughs> just release it uh, instead yeah, of like waiting know. for... I don't, I mean, I don't have as much, you know, I, I don't have as much experience in the open source, you know, I mean, I've been, as I mentioned to you, since, you know, I really only started working in open source since I came to Matrix about three years ago. Yeah. Um, and it, and there's a different mix of the areas that I'm involved in where, you know, some of it looks like Nephew, you know, which very structured, very coordinated release, you know, it's obviously creating software, which, you know, this is, I mean, the best practices don't directly uh, result in software that we're creating right here in the working group, but it does have, it does feed, for example, the, the CNF test suite. So, um, I would just think, you know, I, I just think it would be interesting to sort of have a, a, a think about, you know, how are we working in terms of structure? Cause, and I know you and I talked about this a while ago where, you know, it, if I knew what topic we were planning to talk about, then you know I might bring somebody who I felt could contribute. But I can't just have them come and listen and see if we maybe talk about it. Um, you know what I mean? And I know sometimes it's just like, okay, we have a draft, let's review it, and then you can sit down and have a comment. But it's that's why I still think maybe rethinking how we're working in terms of, you know almost like a release schedule. I, I don't know, maybe that's stupid or maybe there's alternatives. but 
something that says, okay, for this quarter, you know, our, our intention is to work on two best practices. These are the candidates. Let's work on them and let's get them done. And then, you know, you do the next quarter and you can constantly be, you know, let's open source. We vote, you know, which ones, which ones are the ones we want to work on um, so that we're not forcing anything. But then I think, and then people know, okay, for the next quarter, I'm not interested in those best practices. I won't be part of it. <laughs> and the ones who really are interested in it can be, could be there working together to try to make it, you know, possible to finish. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, like, a, I mean, but I like that that way, like, a putting like a deadline or also a commitment. Yeah. So definitely that forces us to, to, to release something. Because otherwise it's like, we're going to say like submitting proposals and drafts and all these things and we're yeah. never are going to. I think um, we, I think we like, and I think you mentioned it last time and, and I don't, it's not a bad idea. I mean, obviously all these, we, we do spend time on highlighting all the upcoming events. And I think that's all really good. But, you know, I, I think this, it's taken, that takes more of the, fo a lot of the attention on this meeting. It's like, okay, because I know it's one of the more concrete things we have, right? Um, here's coming events, but I, I'd rather see us putting the same kind of effort around structuring up the, yeah, okay. What, what really surprised me is like, I mean, the, the interest is there, like, uh, of course, because uh, when, when, when we are doing those, these events, like the the CN, CNCF uh, working group garden event in in, in, Ger and in Amsterdam, mm -hmm. people were showing up. Like uh, the talk of the same the same thing. People like to consume the the, the, the information, participate, or, or get something about like all these um, trends in the, the telecom industry. Mm -hmm. But I feel like uh, when it's time to collaborate and start like submitting ideas, like putting things on paper or sharing, or just simple, the fact is to sharing things is when, when the things get strange, right? Because like, a, for example, in this case, like a, um, most of the people who attend those meetings are expecting to consume, uh, to consume, to resolve issues, or but they are not willing to, to exchange ideas or to propose ideas, even when they are crazy or like, um, so, so yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> so. I, I know what you, uh, yeah, I see what you, you know, I see what you mean. And, and it's, I, 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 I'm not saying that it would be, you know, it would solve everything, but I do feel like if we were just to step back almost and say, okay, how many people are attending this meeting? And, you know, we know that it, it's less than 10 people that, you know, regularly attend. It's a fairly small group at the moment. And, you know, maybe just think about, uh, I mean, maybe have a session. We say, okay, you know what, we're not going to take it today and just, you know, everyone has no, had, had no time to think about it, but, you know, set a date, say on Monday, you know, August, whatever, let us talk about the format of this meeting and how we, you know, how we're operating and basically see if we have ideas to you know maybe improve you know the collaboration effort make it more clear how to collect because i know we write a document for example how to collaborate and i think again you're we're asking a lot of people to invest time um when they don't really understand how we're you know how we work right it's like okay we're going to make some best practices and i i know i'm being very you know i'm almost being very negative and i don't mean that but it's like i i think it would be more obvious if we said okay here is our plan for you know, 2024, each quarter, we think it's realistic to introduce or to specify at least, you know, one to two best practices. I don't know. I mean, I'm just making numbers up. Therefore, then we, you know, we have a, we have a repo that has a bunch of issues and things. And maybe from that, we can have a, you know, kind of a, a running list of best practices that, that, you know, we believe their topics, right? Their issues that we believe could in, in uh, could result in a best practice, and so then we try to look at you know two or three of those per quarter, but actually not keep switching and looking at new things, but just say let's mm -hmm. let's where we're at now. Last week there was no collaboration; we nothing happened. Okay, guys, we're not going to make our goal. You know how do we how do we and and sort of just focus on how do we get those three, two or three or whatever it is per quarter over the finish line. And I think it might find say, well, I need to talk to somebody. I'm not just, 
you know, maybe we should set up a meeting, you, me, and somebody else, and we work on a, a section, and then next week we review it together, you know, and I think that would be me, it might help people to understand, because I don't, I have a feeling sometimes people just don't know how to really contribute still. They don't feel comfortable just going into the document and starting to write. Um, no, no, I definitely agree with what you're saying is, is, is um, I mean, that's that's a way to describe commitment, right? Like a, our commitment is to release at least one or two or three uh, best practices per quarter, per month, per week, whatever. Yeah, so, exactly. Just something that we can agree on. I, I, I totally agree with you. I think that that would help people because otherwise it is, if you were to ask somebody right now, I mean, it doesn't, and you know, what is the ambition of the, you know, you know, what is the ambition of our, of our working group to develop best practices? Okay, how how many have you done so far, or how many do you plan to, you know, we don't have any, we don't have anything set like that. So I think we we struggle to articulate whether we are are we progressing well or we're not progressing well. You know, I don't I don't think we have anything to measure against. And, and therefore, I don't. It doesn't really allow us to make any corrections or changes that would maybe help us be more, you know, more productive or more, you know, successful. No, but, and also the, the other thing that, that I was thinking is like, usually when when the people say like, I don't have time for this or for there or for whatever, mm -hmm. I, I, usually it, that reflects that the, the fact that you're saying this is not my priority, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's basically that, like, because all of us have the same hours of the day, so uh, it just matter like just choosing or picking the, the tasks and the, the different um, tasks or priorities. So, for example, if, if we don't set the, the right priority, if, if our top priority, for example, uh, for us would be uh, releasing best practices, I, I can guarantee that <laughs> we we'll release a lot of them. <laughs> Because that that was our top priority, but in this case, uh, I know uh, we have a lot of different things. I mean, all these things are um, volunteer and probably it's pretty hard to like uh, putting things in in order. Yeah, I guess uh, we have to change that. Like I saying, well, this is going to be our top priority. This is uh, this is our our major metric. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see Taylor's joined us. <laughs> yeah, I just tell him that we were around. Yeah. Hey, Taylor. Hello. Good morning. Uh, yeah, we already started and then ended the call since uh, nobody was on earlier. I yeah. think the recording on YouTube will uh, show that. Um, I don't know if it's going to include this or not, but this might be like a separate recording. Yeah. That one we might want to. Can you remove it? <laughs> Maybe, but I, I kind of feel like we're past we went through stuff i don't know what y'all have gone through but well actually yeah. uh i think that we were talking about like a ways to um deliver more things probably uh if we can we can switch dynamics or to something because yeah i mean we have a lot of drafts which are good but at the end of the day are awesome <laughs> draft, so we have to make sure that um, push it to the latest step, like, and I, and and Oliver was suggesting like, like a, a, a try to focus on a single, like a single best practice per month, per quarter, whatever, and, and just release it because, I mean, it's it's not going to be perfect, but we have to do something because otherwise we are still accumulating things and very dispersed and 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 yeah, it's, it's not going to show what we have been doing because at the end of the day we are still working we're still in, investing time in these meetings discussing ideas but uh yeah the, the final the final step is, is not showing those those efforts um what what are the ideas for making it well, I think we, we just, you know, we were, I, we, we were just, you know, again, just brainstorming some, you know, mostly just having a conversation, just catching up a little bit. But um, I don't, I, I mean, if if we just kind of back up and say, okay, so when do we start? And, and you know, we, we 
I think we all recall at least the kickoff and you know we started off we had a it was a huge like anything new and shiny there was a lot of people joining in the very beginning today I think our number you know we're probably less than 10 people who are regularly attending um but I think you know just from a perspective of so what it what is the stated ob objective and of this group and I think we have that I think then though in terms of practice in terms of way of working it, it's a little less unclear what our ambitions are in terms of are we on track or are we not on track? In other words, you know, we don't have anything to quantify, not, not that I know of, that says we have an intention to release, you know, X number of best practices per year. And maybe that's not even realistic. So then there should be something else. But I think it's very difficult for people to, you know, and I'm, I'll say myself, it's difficult to know, shouldn't we be creating, you know, two best practices every three months or something, or, you know, six or six, a quarter, six a half, every half, a half a year, something that, you know, then helps us to understand, all right, so are we, are we meeting that or not? Uh, and if I just take the, we're not meeting it just for the sake of argument, you know, saying, okay, we're not meeting it, then you stop and you go, okay, so why is that? What is, is it just, no, nobody's attending and nobody's helping out? Okay, so how do we make them attend or how do we help, you know, what is it that that's, causing us not to get across the finish line. And we were we were just talking a little bit about it. it feels like, you know, people come with new ideas before we even finish some of the old ideas that, you know, got progress. So, and I know right now, if we just use a concrete one, we have the, the best practice for, um, you know, we have the draft for CNF container should have one process category. And I know, you know, I, I, I'm not, I haven't been a major contributor to that. I've started putting some things in, trying to make some con, you know, add some things. But even there, I'd almost prefer to be able to work with someone like yourself or like Victor and just sort of say, OK, and I can maybe get an action point. Say, oh, Oliver, go away. You need to get some. We need something here. Um, and I think by doing that, you were kind of assisting and helping each other and we get it across the finish line. Otherwise, the risk is this sits here in draft and we start looking at a new one. And then we end up with a lot of those, you know, kind of partially finished. So that's that was basically as far as we went. And I'm you know, I don't know that we have all the answers, but. It feels like we there's knowledge, there's people who could help us get us things across the finish line. And and I think that would be, you know, success, uh, you know, help to the success of this group. It's just a matter of figuring out how we do that. We've set numbers before. Um, I, I guess as far as goals. Um, yeah, we can adjust goals, and I don't know that we need to set any uh, goals for the, well, maybe I should just say, I don't know what goals we should set, but it should probably be set based on what's realistic. We're not, um, this group is different from, definitely different from a company where you're trying to have a service or new feature or product or whatever and you know you need to get that done it's different from an open source project where you may have people working on something and towards the release but it's a little bit close to that in that in an open source project it's what do people want to work on and if if it's of interest to them and they have the time then they may do it um well, I, I we agree with say, that. We can say that we would like to release this many best practices in a quarter and then try to, you know, whatever we want to do, publish or something on this, whatever we want to do. But it's how people are willing to put time into it and what time they have available. I've been saying for a while that I'm available to do like a working session on any that people are passionate about but there's nobody being forced to do it so yeah, what, what is true taylor uh and probably we are all agree about like uh definitely we have to do some i mean something different because the formula we, that we have been applying for a while um has been given us good or bad results like i don't know like um but but now like it seems like the trend that we are taking uh, is, is important to do a Maybe just few adjustments to, to encourage participation or to try to 
um, uh, motivate others to participate because um, yeah, in the last few few months we have been um, seen too much participation. Um, I don't know if it's because of the topic or maybe it's because the the, the, the way that the meeting is set up or um, or or we need, we need to uh, involve other people like or change the, even changing the time maybe choosing a different date like probably could be a, a possible idea. But I, I guess my, my my major point of this is like I probably we have to do one one, one or or two um, bigger adjustments on on this. I'm down for it, and if y'all have suggestions, then uh, yeah, that, that's that, that's the thing, right? Like, it's pretty hard, like because I'm I'm still like I don't know why why uh, I don't know what this just maybe. Uh, what, what Oliver was saying it makes sense make 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 sense like a start trying to focus on a single thing for for per week or like uh try to be more uh like uh um less less dispersed i guess like just picking one single thing and just going there until the end probably that could be a a good alternative yeah I mean, I don't know. I I, I feel like it's almost just a, it's, it, and I don't know, Taylor. I mean, you, you well, both of you, and and I'm not sure. You know, maybe it's a conversation. I'm happy to be part of that, but if you know this as a as a three co leads, maybe just as a, we could have a conversation, right? So let's just have an open conversation. How's this going? Or do we, you know, we feel like this is, uh, are we successful at the moment or, you know, and, I, and I'm sure we probably align them. We could be doing, we could be making some better progress. Okay, what ideas do we have? And maybe between us, we could come up with, you know, a couple options that we could then share with back to the group. And I, I don't necessarily think they have to be huge changes, but I, I mentioned this before, Taylor, as an example. I mean, I, you know, that within Matrix, there are people who are, much closer to the code, uh, you know, and the real world challenges that we face, but their time is extremely limited. So I can bring them in for specific topics when I have a chance to say, on Monday, we're going to be talking about this, and this is important to us. I want, you know, someone from an, you know, from our engineering team, someone senior from there who can, you know, articulate some of the things that, that are important and, and hopefully contribute also back in terms of, you know, so what would be the best practice, right? I have a hard time doing that if I can't just invite them to join the meeting to see if a topic is going to be, you know, relevant to us. Um, and, and I don't know if any other companies are in the same way. And I think, you know, we might have people who, if they knew that there is a topic, the topic right now is we're going to finish this um, CNF container and, you know, maybe we bite off chunks of the document, right? Okay, the first section we're comfortable with this, the, the two, three people who've been working on it, let's walk through that, we're good. This is what remains. So we are asking specifically for this from any vendor or any participant here. In other words, it's a little bit of handholding, but it's, it's guiding and saying, and then we will have a conversation on this on the following Monday. So in other words, we're work, working very much with one of these items that we've picked out until we actually get it done. Now, I think we could do work in advance, like when, it, let's say every quarter, right? You kind of look and say, all right, here's the five areas we think we have you know information from so these could eventually be best practices let's kind of look at priorities from everybody who's attending right do we have any preference of you know one two three four five in terms of priority order and then we pick the first one and we start working and if and see if that you know see if that result you know, provides any better results in terms of getting people to contribute because i if you would ask people what we were going to talk about today i guess most people would say i i don't know what the what would be on the agenda people can come in with a new idea and say hey i have a new idea for new best practice so we're, that's what i'm trying to get you know at least in my head i think that might help people to be a little more prepared for you know the way we're working and when what's the topic that we're we're working with um a little more consistently it's just an idea i mean i'm sure there's many others uh, some other you know other options but so it's one the only difference that I'm seeing right now with what we have is we're not explicitly saying we are absolutely going to work on the a single best practice the next time or whatever the topic is and nothing else. That's the only thing. 
we have the opportunity right now for we can do it every week it's always there it's all and it's been said every time i i, I personally don't think it has to do with people not knowing that it's the this one um process category per t per container has been there as let's get this done we've said that for a while it's where is anyone available and right now instead of working on it we're talking about these other things like we could literally just say let's stop talking and go work on that um well i don't disagree with you but i think again it may also be just how people are people don't you know, not everybody it may not come natural for everyone to just go work on it so again it yeah. might be you might my, my my suggestion is one option might be to be a bit more you know okay let's look at this this is again for those there'll be people there's been people who popped in on the latest call and then haven't shown back up again i don't know because the topic was not interesting or they don't know how to contribute and i know we've written you know material about how to contribute but i think you know from you know having one or two best practices or three best practices as you start to kind of work through those and people start going oh okay i get this and you might find that people are a little bit more independent uh in terms of being able to contribute you know uh, asynchronously but i think maybe for the benefit of the group we might say hey we really want to get this particular best practice and again it, I, I just used the one it was an example but we would pick whatever one and we say we think we're so far with this and we just need to help push it across the finish line we're going to have we're going to try to coordinate two sessions for those who are interested in addition to the working session and i'm just making it up but um to come contribute, help put this doc, you know, put finish this document, and then we present it to the group. Any questions? No, great. Can we get the looks good to me? And then we we move on to the next one. And we might find that that we get a little bit more focus because again, I think people don't. I, it's just an it's just an opinion. So I just feel like people come and they don't really know. So what what will be the topic today? And I know that they know about this best practice but you know we're also willing to entertain oh is there something else of more interest that you'd like to talk about and then we might get sidetracked right we get a new thing to start looking at and we may not may or may not finish that one either that that's my only you know that was my only thinking in terms of and it may not succeed but i, I feel like we should try something you know try some different approaches here because i think uh i'd like i'd like to see you know, going back to your comment um how important this is to companies i think a lot of companies I would I would expect are are certainly interested in the outcome. <laughs> I don't know if they're interested in the putting the time and effort in, but if they start to see outcome, that might also you know all of a sudden you go oh wait a minute there are things happening now things are actually um, being produced that you know will shape how people see uh, CNFs and and sort of what a good CNF is and that might bring them back to the table as well when they start seeing that there's an output if there's not a lot of output they're not going to be too concerned and, and the, the other thing that I was thinking about um, it's, it's easy to say a lot of things right <laughs> and if, if someone has been doing a lot of things and make us sit uh, in this working group has been Taylor <laughs> so I have to recognize that Taylor has been doing a lot of, a lot of uh, work and in oh, yeah. uh, Collecting information, uh, uh, promoting the, the, the different events, like uh, uh, spreading the word. Like <laughs> definitely, Taylor has been doing a lot of things, and I guess this is not a critique of what Taylor has been done. Um, but, you know, absolutely, yeah, does. absolutely. I'm gonna jump in and say, absolutely, yeah, absolutely not. That's not, so, my, yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, I, I recognize that this is I, this is being. Hey, y'all, I'm I'm really not worried about that. I but i appreciate your um your sentiment on that i i'm not i'm not taking any of this as a critique my issue is that i don't feel like people are contributing and that's not that's why it's not getting done mm -hmm. and i could go in and victor can go in and um and we can just complete a practice on our own Mm -hmm. I can take the time to go complete that. The point would be to try to get more than one contributor to to write up a best practice, and that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. Um, the reason why I haven't just said we're going to work on the one 
concern is because I'm I feel like I'm forcing my opinion on that. And this is why I've said if there's something that's more relevant for anyone else, then I'm happy to spend my time working on that. So if Matrix said, hey, we actually care about this other best practice, and this is where the engineers would be passionate, then I'd be happy to just let's focus the time and put that forward as the agenda item. But me going, Oliver, can you go ask folks from your team to join the call and put their time into something that may not be of interest? That doesn't feel okay. This is this is a open area that's supposed to be you contribute because it matters to you. Yeah. Now I do want to say, Oliver, you've put comments in there. So I know you've been adding to that best practice and trying to make adjustments. Um, I really feel like it's just time. We haven't put the time into it. Yeah. And I have been thinking like <laughs> before y'all join the call, like especially today, thinking, I just need to go in and try to resolve all the comments in the practice myself and try to get it to a point where it's, you know, where I think it's ready and and then put it forward. I mean, there, there's comments, a lot of them are me putting stuff in and asking for feedback. <clears throat> um, the latest ones were from you, Oliver, but I could do that. I could just go in and finish this out and then present it. Um, yeah, and I, I, I hear you, I hear you, Taylor. And I, I think we're not that far off from, I, I don't, hopefully we're not that far off from one another in terms of what I'm trying to say, which is, and let me try, let me try backing up and just catching a few your points. So one, absolutely. I, I recognize that the, the, the co-lead shouldn't dictate what best practices we work on. That would feel very strange. So I do think there may or may not be an opportunity and it may or may not be that easy to do, but we might be able to say, for example, over the next quarter, you know, here's here's five best practices that we think, you know, are, 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 are maybe good for discussions anyone have that, uh, you know, anything else they would like to. Have. In other words, you just try to do a little scoping and they say, OK, let's try to look at these and let's start working on it. And then it just kind of keeps it provides a little bit of focus for a short period of time. And then, you know, there's another opportunity to say, okay, let's look again. It's almost like backlog, uh, you know, grooming on saying, okay, here's the, here's the next five. Are these still the relevant ones or is there something else? Is something else popped up that's maybe more important? That, that was my only point about that. As far as actually getting stuff completed, uh, here's a concrete request. If, if we can say, look, we for those of you who would like to help out with this, let's have one additional session, all right? Let's not make it too taxing. We're going to put another working a working session. We don't expect it'll be probably more than a few people because I guess you're not going to get all 10 people that join normally on Mondays to work and finalize that because I'm saying that maybe there's a little bit of hand-holding. So, Taylor, we're on this section now, section four. What is it that exactly is going in there? Or, or you know, what kind of things do we need to fill it with? And it may be, okay, you're explaining it and you say, okay, Oliver, action point to you. you come back with matrix, you know, specific on this. And I, and I, you know, like a, how do you guys see this as a challenge or, you know, what are some of the exceptions or I'm just saying to you, I have some personal challenges in writing the best practice, going in the document and knowing exactly how I can contribute. Maybe there's other people in the same place. I, mean, I think you and Victor, and I'm sure others have, you know, have probably feel confident in going in the document, but we do need more scale. Otherwise, it's going to be just the two, three people that do it all the time. And I, and I think I'm happy to be helping, but I think I might need a little bit of, you know, work together with somebody so that it becomes more obvious to me what some of that information that's missing to get it over the, you know, the, over the hurdle. That's the only way I can describe it. I mean, otherwise, I can just go put it in the document and then we can all look at it, 10 people. Um, I just think it would be more effective if we were a small working group to kind of try pushing it over the, you know, pushing it to a ready state for review. I've been offering doing individual or small working sessions um, for for months now. I'm I'm willing to do it. Okay, I, I, I've been kind of willing to do it since the work seen a okay. on any topic. And okay. 
the only Taylor, other thing Taylor, Taylor in all fairness, I pinged you and you said you were going to get back to me and you never did. So I, I pinged you. You were on vacation. You said when you got back on vacation, you you, you ping it back. So oh, right. I get it. We're, I, we're all I'm busy. Yeah, I'm totally down for it. If you want to do one, I'm down. I would love it. to. I would love yeah. to do, you know, and I'd and like I, to use the one so I think that we. I want to go back to one thing I said, though. We, if we don't have a topic last week, we had a bunch of questions that. If people have questions on this, then I think it's okay to dig into those. But most of the time, if we don't have a lot of topics, we could spend the time as just now as a working session. It's not a large group today, so we could be focused on that. Like I, I don't think that this is a big, for me, it's not a big deal if people just say, hey, let's take the time right now. There's no other topic. Let's go ahead and it's on the agenda. It's been on the agenda multiple times. So we could just start doing it. I including like literally right now, if we just want to say the call's still going, we have 16 more minutes. We could spend 16 more minutes trying to get that best practice done. Sounds great. I, I think we could actually knock out this best practice <laughs> in without even having, you know, another working session. If we just said the next 15 minutes and then the next session, it should be ready if we just do that. All right. Does that make sense to the two of you to do it? Let's, I mean, if that's the case, let's 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 do it. I just added the link before you have like an I looked at another one or I think it was enough this is PR TBD um we didn't we don't obviously we don't have a PR yet so I just linked put the link into the current issue where a lot of this has been discussed unless it was already here I don't think it was I don't know um I guess the least privileged principles what was that? Why was well, that, that? that? This was a template. I think that's the, for uh, me, you know, sometimes I'm lo I've looked at this and I see, okay, there's, and it was just a template, right? You And you mentioned it last time. A lot of this has to be removed because it's related to a previous best practice. Um, yeah, I'm trying to look because this top part was kind of referenced to help us get going. I don't know yeah. why this one was linked at all. So let me see if there's anything related to um, this top part should not be in, in the final proposal. This was quick access. Anything mm. that's actually relevant, which would be the issue, so that's fine. And then all of these right here, to keep, they should go down into the reference section down here. Okay. Anything there. This was like quick access while we were just trying to read and understand what we we're working on on the best practice okay strictly in the in the google doc <clears throat> um so you don't have to scroll to the bottom every time all right this is the issue though i think so yeah I put that here at the top oh is it yeah okay okay got you you're right is i just duplicated okay. so yeah you can remove what i put in there yeah all right it's no problem. I was just trying to make sure. But deleting this sounds probably relevant. I don't know why this was linked. I think this was just because, well, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought it was because we had a, you know, we used a template from another one. I don't know. That's, that's possible. That's possible. Um, you'll, you'll see that through here it, that, you know, there were, there's still some places where we're referring to least privilege, uh, principle of least privilege, which I think suggests to me it was just from another. Yeah, I'm not saying it. Um, there's a Google Doc for this as well. Um, all right, so it's it doesn't it's not there. So 
at least in the discussion itself. All right. What is all of this? We have a lot of non managed by non homegrown supervisor extruder. Do, do we have a definition of that? Like, a, what is a non homegrown supervisor? I kind of feel like this is extra, um, <clears throat> like it should be its own. If if we were going to have that at all, then this would be, I'm going to put it like this, manage, um, what do I do, a comment. Yes. Maybe All right. So this would be about, uh, you know, whether you have one process or you have multiple process types, if you are writing um, the process, a process manager. So it's something that's handling multiple processes and different types. So there's, I mean, the very first thing that um, comes to mind is just like in a day or whatever, but you have different process supervisors is what we're talking about. Um, supervisor D, but that's not what I was wanting. Um, is it is it material to say non homegrown? I mean, rather than just saying a supervisor or an orchestrator, or does it, is it important that we're saying it's not a? Uh, does it affect the best practice? I don't think it affects this one, and that's why I'm saying I think we need to split this one off. It's probably not. I think it takes away and someone can talk about it. Um, but Supervisor D would be a one that I would point to that's not homegrown. So then somebody, so this would have to do with another best practice that's talking about um, where you can end up with runaway containers that never die and the Kubernetes doesn't restart them because they look like they're okay. So you have zombie processes and stuff. So a good supervisor is going to handle all those things and child processes. And there's a lot of scenarios that start happening. And when mm -hmm. someone is trying to manage, manage all the processes and keep them alive in a container, the number one, they are probably going to do it bad. Um, mm -hmm. And then the system is not going to know when to um, restart or or whatever the the container mm. and and then you're also likely to get away from allowing kubernetes to orchestrate containers and instead of and you let things fail and it's supposed to know there's a problem let's report that let's have you know visibility and let's start up other containers mm. so always staying alive and then you get a thicker to container instead of having it a minimal container where the orchestration is outside. So there's a lot of things in this. It's related to, you know, having a container only do one thing, minimize a single concern and, and the processes that are involved in that single concern being minimal. But potentially this could be a it's own practice. That's the point. Yeah. Um let me move on from that and then let some of you come back. So if if that make, did that make sense? And and Victor, you may already understand what I'm talking about as far as 
Yes, yes. Well, the, the other thing that I was thinking is like in the second the second sentence, which is saying like the microservice shouldn't we focus just in the container? I mean, um, yeah, the, the first sentence is fine, like, but the second one is is just referring to the microservice, and I guess a microservice could be something uh, more architecture generic. Uh, so it shouldn't be like a the container should not spawn other process types. I mean, uh, we don't have to come in back and saying what we want to enforce is like, it's just practice is referring to the container and not to the microservice. I'm not quite getting you. So it, the sentence says the microservice should not spawn. And the, I mean, if you look at the title, it says containers should have one process category. So I think mm -hmm. the suggestion is maybe it says the container rather than the microservice. Thanks. That makes sense. And I connect. And you were saying that, Victor, I just wasn't quite getting it. The container yeah. should not spawn other process types as a way to contribute. Yeah, I guess it's trying to refer the CNF microservices. I got it. So the microservice is running in the container. That's why it's trying to get people to think about microservices rather than the container. But how would we write this to make it coherent? Because I, I, I get what you're saying that it wouldn't coherent there. Um, let's see. That maybe it's the microservice in the container, yeah, rather than the container. That might work. Uh, or is it is it only one? Because it's the microservice, and maybe it's parentheses. It could be more than one in the container. No, because it really should be one. The CNS okay. microservice should only have one process per container. Well, first of all, we have to clarify, like because uh, microservice, you can use virtual machines to using a microservice architecture, right? And, and that's totally fine. So microservice is, is just an architectural thing. Yeah. And container is, is the implementation of that. I mean, it's one of the implementations. <laughs> so, so definitely we have- but How have about to... this? Let's try to do this and maybe it's right around. The processes, the process, process but i feel like i need to do that the processes yeah. in the container should not spawn other process types so you may have multiple processes or threads so you could have i'm going to use the http web um, application apache you can run it with a single thread single process you can run it multi-threaded and you can run it multi-process but it's all the same you could say the same type or the same category it's still the http server when it spins off multiple processes so multi-process is fine but what you wouldn't want it to do is spin up a you know um a ssh server to handle, you know, something like that, or it, it spins up a a database or whatever, a web proxy to go to another web server. I like it. I mean, the processes in the container is not spawning all the process types, which are, are, are exactly what you're saying. Like, like Apache, just going to run Apache or any other. Apache process, but not like man patch or any other cat different type. Y'all are good with this? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, this is just pointing at where it's coming from. I think that might already be in the reference, but I'm gonna 
Can I just say one question? I'll, I'll just uh, and I may, I may be wrong here, so I'm just I'm asking you guys for clarity on it. Um, if you, I'll let you just finish putting that in there. Would it be more? Is it would it be accurate or inaccurate to say? Uh, so we're looking at the sentence, second sentence there. It says the process or processes in the container should not spawn other process types as a way to contribute to the workload, but should interact with other. Okay, it's a bit redundant. Sorry, I was thinking with other processes. Yeah, okay, yeah, never mind. I was thinking of maybe types should be there again, but I don't think so. I think it's, it's more accurate just like as it is. So yeah, I'm good with it. In other words, I was trying to basically make to your point, it's like, well, you need to interact with something else for different process types. You don't don't try to spawn those um, or don't try to have multiple. You're just inter you're interacting with others, um, different types, right? Right. Do the micro microservice API. So that's fine. That makes sense to me. All right. I we got, the, we got the summary one. done, guys. <laughs> we got this. We got next this. one. Let's see. Where is it? Um, Ian and the ticket for this book asks if it's okay to spawn the IP command. Yes, yes, yes. This is just saying that yes, you can spawn other things, but we don't need to say that here. Um, add the CNFs, add market services. Yes, microservice. I guess I can say like that, maybe per container. Dot per container in the container. Yes, most likely. Which oh, do the leader? Oh. No, I just um. Can, I can do this. Having only one concern means that there will be one. Okay, so this whole chunk of words here needs to be, are, are y'all good with us going a few more minutes and try to finish out the summary section? Yes. Okay. Um. All right, so this section is supposed to be where someone can quickly understand what this best practice is about. So I, I think this first paragraph kind of communicates that. Do you all agree? Yep. yep. Yep, absolutely. All right. And this is more of a related so there's a few things about one process type per container and why this is a difficult one to talk about. Um, why we have it as a best practice. <clears throat> and one of the main parts has to do with it's, well, this is a microservice, primarily a microservice type of best practice. So that architecture um, patterns and stuff that you're referring to, Victor. And then I, I get... one, one concern per container, this is a principle. So this isn't just a microservice. You can actually have, when you look, this is why there's all this stuff, single responsibility principle. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you can see here's a Ericsson actually refers to this uh, except only necessary. Yeah, I feel like the second the second paragraph is just like a kind of implementation or like expanding the main idea of the first paragraph. It's, it's just saying like like using a something like example like a, a like saying Apache was something about Apache. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry, do you want me to go back where I was? Oh yeah, Go ahead. yeah. 
Yeah, I was just trying to relate this to the a telecom thing, but it's it's not really talking about processes. It's talking about separation of concerns. So this would be related to um, what are we trying to do with one process or a type or for uh, one category type or how we're trying to define that. There's there's overlap between. Um, different practices and principles here, where you could say there you're not going to fully embrace one when you're trying to talk about it, but you kind of have to talk about both a little bit. So, right here, this Erickson document, uh, our white paper, they're talking about separation of concerns, and this ends up being part of like functions and stuff and why they're doing that and there's some other links that point to other how do you how do you break down the different functions into smaller components and i think you're seeing stuff with a lot of different places but this is the back to the concern stuff like the single responsibility principle and stuff like that I don't need, know that we need to talk about the, the summary. It could be somewhere else. I, I think I, I don't think so. I think you, I mean, for me at least, because I know what's coming, which is the motivation, right? Because it feels very natural when you start describing what it is. You go, so why do you do this? And that's going to come. So I think for me, okay. this, this, the summary works. All right. But but do you, do you think that, um, it works as is. Okay, what are you what are you saying? Like this one is this relevant for the summary? Does it build on? Does it add and help for the summary of why why we're saying this is a best practice? For me, it's it's, it's uh, just talking about the same. Like, I mean, maybe you can use it in, in the description or another section just to expand the idea. I mean, at least the, the summary is. is uh, I I think this is a I, I mean I, it could. You can go either way, right? I think for me, this is a, could be a reference, right? You could just be saying, there's many other places you're gonna find this. And so it's a question whether or not you, we do this as a normal thing to make references in the best practice itself to others along the way, or we just sort of have those all in one section. So I'm fine to move this. I, I mean, I, I think it helps exemplify it, but I'm just wondering if you, if you just keep all the references in one place. So I, either way works for me. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so the thing is where we can move it. <laughs> Do we have a, a description or any other place where we can move it? So motivation might not be it, but maybe in the proposal where we talk about it, or it can be like reference where the references don't just have to be uh, Link. links we could add extra content like some of these like this area with this is about the privileged containers but we actually point out some specific areas in this cis benchmark where we're talking about it um we can do that sort of thing with something like this I do think that it's this sort of thing will come up like why are you saying this is important, you know, and then we, you know, we have the references. This one, I think, is a good external. Um, this is an external party that are talking about why this is a best practice, so this is maybe more relevant to this particular practice, so this is Docker talking about containers. And there, and this is not specifically saying process type, but they are saying different concerns. And this is a specific one with Apache, right? And the, and then saying, don't put other things in there. Yeah, multiple processes are fine. So that points out something that other folks like Ian had pointed out. Can we run? What if? What about um, applications that do multiple process types? Yes, but you should avoid different responsibilities. So you don't want to run your database by, you know, as a guideline, you don't want to run your database and your proxy and a bunch of different things all in one container. You want to split those up. Yeah. And that's what this is talking about. 
but maybe do do y'all think this should go into where where should this go um I, it sounded like y'all both think it's redundant here it doesn't need to be in summary are you thinking reference or somewhere else or motivation well motivation yes but motivation really is talking about um this doesn't say what the benefits are yeah but no mm -hmm. Motivation is like, why do I care about this? So, what are the benefits I'm going to getting? How is this going to help me? Yeah, and like like, the, like performance or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I my suggestion is leave it for now, and then I mean, I I said leave it because it, I think it work it very it's a nice motivator for that first paragraph, right? I mean, it basically to your point, it makes an external reference. You know, there, there's just not coming up anywhere, and it kind of explicitly points to one example that is you know has strong relation you know correlation to what we've just said and i we can always have it in the reference section again at the bottom just you know the link right and we don't necessarily have to have the whole the text but i think it's a i think i think for me the summary works i think we're in, in a good shape here i just we haven't really looked at the last paragraph there but i think other than that having one concern means there's only one process category or process type within one container there can be any number yeah but it's kind of reiterating it again uh with an example and then that's good and then i think for me i'm i'm comfortable with this summary i think you've gotten across what it's about now i'm naturally inclined to say so why do i want to do this and then this is where you know i took from the article that we had already referenced um before uh to some of these benefits um and i put that in there more or less just putting within a leading line saying the best practice benefits a cnf consumer operator uh, in the following ways. And then you know, probably needs an extra space in there. I don't know if that's a page break, but then I just, you know, copy them in and I'm not sure if that's, you know, if we want to do anything with that or we need to elaborate more. Can we, what about this one right here in the summary? This is kind of a duplicate of the Apache. So this is saying in GenX instead. Um, and which is an, uh, just another web server so i don't see a reason to have this since it's a duplicate and then this is know. maybe an explanation of the process type having only which could maybe be merged with the top part but first let me say this can we delete this part which is a duplicate of the apache right above yeah okay all right and now this one, do we need it at all? If if we do, then it probably should be merged in that first paragraph in some way to explain what we're talking about. Yeah, I what what, what in seeing it this way, what I would actually think is that because if, if you recall, we've had different names. We've called this a single process, single process category type concern, and maybe that's where we should need to start. Maybe it says a CNF Microsoft should only have should have only one you know you maybe put it as concern and then you and then you can explain that that means you know single process type or single process category maybe that's the way to having one i'm gonna i'm gonna try it by i hear you and i'm gonna try it by expanding on this first paragraph where we just say what we want and then we can if someone doesn't understand it then we can explain it but i need to swap this around yeah so we I first guess. say um having only one process type so now we go having only um, one concern process type um within is related to or is um also about having only one concern uh, i want to go back to the, maybe the wording single so that something about the is related to the single concern principle there's something there but I, i'm not quite it's not fitting for me well, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, I have to go to another meeting. Um, uh, so I have to roll. Um, can I just check it later? Like, a... absolutely. Thanks. Okay.
Victor. Oh, thanks. And Taylor, Taylor, and Oliver. Bye -bye. Thanks, Victor. Talk soon. Yeah, right. one way. What if you did it like? Uh, do, 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 do. It almost feels like that almost could be. Can can that almost be the first sentence? In other words, and if you move it up, like, and you don't have to do it, but just think about it from a, you know, a a. a it needs to be a bit of a merge too, but I'm thinking, what if you're starting talking about this from the, you know, a CNF, a CNF's container should have what should deal with one concern. That means, or, you know, a single, a single concern means, you know, deal, you know, it only is managing or only dealing, containing one process type you know, I'm just wondering if we can go from that perspective, or if we can work down there uh, from top down, if concern is sort of the highest level. It seems like it's just different, you know, different vocabulary for saying a lot of the same stuff. The single concern principle. Yeah, I like that. And then you can say, you know, this, this, you know, maybe almost like this means that a CNFs or, or to achieve this, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, now that works. So let's see, let's see that's language. Can you do you think it maybe also in the very first sentence? I'll let you finish what you're doing. Go ahead. In the very first sentence, since we're kind of using this microservice and then a you know parentheses S, maybe the same thing, right? Because it, it starts off as saying a CNF's microservice or services should follow the single concern principle. To help in achieving this, CNF's microservice potentially in the very first sentence, if you put a parenthesis around that S or a, and add a parenthesis S for microservice, then it's just consistent with what we're doing on the next line. Yep. All right, so that uh, looks pretty good. I think we're done with the summary. Um, I don't wanna just keep pushing on this other than um, I wanna go back to what you said, you were trying to say about the best practice, uh, the motivation section. So I think you were talking about this. So it looks like you wrote this. Well, I know I did a lift and shift. Okay, all right. <laughs> this, this is from the article that uh, I believe it was Watson who right. authored an article. Okay, so you've kind of um, taken some pieces out of there. Yeah, I mean, it seems so well outlined to, you know, why do you want to do this? Uh, it, it's, it was, you know, the, then it's a question whether we agree with that all of this is, you know, the case. I just, I really did just copied and pasted it over so that we'd have a, because it felt like when I was looking at the different references, um, this one came to mind. Of course, we refer, you know, we've talked about it in the past. It may um, need do you, what do you think needs to be changed or not? Or do you do you like this as a start? As a start, yeah. All right. I'm good with that. There we go. 
can you just add an extra space right after that first colon? Because the isolation comes right after the first one is isolation. You see it? Uh, it should have a space in between it or something. Yeah, thanks. And I think, you know, maybe that we do this as the next step is just kind of walk through. OK, so we've got we've got a summary. This is why this or this is a summary of what it is. This is the motivations. Is there is are these the right ones? Is there something else? I, I admittedly had a challenge when I read this and I go, OK, so the CNF, this is a best practices benefiting the CNF consumer and operator. That makes sense. Um, probably can benefit even the vendors themselves, but you know, who's most important is the end user. So leave it like that. It makes sense to me. Um, yeah, we might, there might be some fine tuning, but I think it starts with this. You can probably, is that replace the lorem ipsum? Is that related to this section or is that sort of just generally speaking? Yeah, I think we can get rid of that one too. I think I did it as we need to replace NH section. And I made yeah. it red because it's trying to, how do we know what we need to do? Yeah. That's all. Yes. So like right here, I, I, I didn't want to just keep saying this is this, this, this. That's all it is. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. So we're done with motivation. We're done with, I'm sorry, we're done with summary. We're, we have a start on motivation. Uh, let me um, glance through it. I mean, I don't want to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's no for this section. I yeah, mean, it's just it kind of covers it. Anything else needs to be we get feedback from other people or um, in the PR, we get feedback or someone comes and says, hey, why don't we add this? And we do a new, new pull request because we can always update. They're not in, in and living. Right? Yeah, exactly. Or delete it later because someone decides that it's no longer a good best practice. Mm. Um, oh yeah, there's some. Oh, what just happened? We lost some of the bullet points or something. The bullet points. I don't know why there's. It's acting a little strange. That was weird. No. Yeah. All right. All right, so that section's good. Um, this one, we need to do something. Yep. Where's your bad paragraph? Uh, oh, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Just trying to make sure. Sometimes these are in a totally different area. They're not always right beside where you're looking. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to delete this so people know that it's. I think we already said this. Workload all pod types should implement this. Um, so I'm going to delete that. So that workload context should be done. User stories, we need them. Whether they're directly inlined or we point external, uh, or how the this is this is old stuff, by the way. Yeah. Um, all right. So. All 
All right. This is where we can repeat something about. Oops. I probably could have taken the other one, but just making sure people know. Um, All right. All right. Um, so that one needs to be just reiterated and expanded on maybe a little bit. I think the best practice of separate containers, this part can be deleted. Format text. I'm just going to start through something. No, I'll just do one back. And references, security, design, all of that, all of that, all of that, all of that, all of that. Let's delete it. Oops, cancel, delete. And then let's go ahead and grab the ones from the top. Yeah. This. Oops, oops, come on. There we go. All right. Um, oops, it's in, where is it? It's in here. I at least want to. Yeah, at least want to take the link. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Some of the, I mean, it's just formatting thing, but some of those are italicized and some are not. And that may make people wonder if it's just a, if there's some reason for that. Oh, uh, what? Like this? No, no. If you look at all the references, the links, some of them are italicized and some are not. So I think it's just a matter of just putting them all as non-italicized and let, or all italicized, depending on whatever. Yeah, I was. I think I was treating these like um, like the as a quote. So italicized as a quote. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Okay. So the one, side on that. I'm okay. Not, got it. Got it. Got it. So the ones that have a, that are used as a quote. Okay. Got it. That's how I was using italics. Yeah. All right. Um. This is pointing to the same place, but all right. This has already been implemented, so we can probably, uh, well, this is also talking about add test implementation history to do add history of best practice right up. So as it's going through, but anyways, we're following a bit of a few places. so. Some of them are just looking at how do people write like 12 factor app and other things to cover stuff. Some of this is similar to Kubernetes um, enhancement proposals, mm -hmm. but the, we're not really doing an enhancement proposal. We're more doing like a write up of a best practice like 12 factors and other places like that documentation. Yeah. But um, 
since this relates to the ability to do testing and people saying, I would like to try to use that, that's why we're <clears throat> tying these are together so that we can support each other. It can work independently and someone doesn't have to use the test suite at all. They yeah. could just, if we, if we actually do what you were talking about earlier in the call, just having something, um, a completed and, and something available where people are, the idea is to put something out there that's useful. So if we have a publicized list of best practices and then the content behind it, that can become a resource for developers to use, even if they never touch the test suite, because this works independently. You can go yeah. through all this and we can go, yeah, we want to do this. Yeah. And, um, and you don't, you wouldn't even, a lot of this would be in my mind applicable outside of Kubernetes and not in any container environment and probably in just a virtualized environment VM for a lot of these things. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping that it'll be beneficial in, in those sort of ways. Yeah. All right. So this is not good goals, improve the security. So we want to do, I'm going to just write something here. I don't, um, just to kind of kick start it and then delete the rest. So we, why are we want to do this? We want to, um, it's improve the, orchestration um, and improve the orchestration and the benefits of <laughs> the, uh, the Kubernetes to CNFs. So something about that. So like, if if you're not doing this, then you're fighting Kubernetes. So that's part of this. You're being inefficient. You don't have to use Kubernetes. You could go slimmer and slimmer and then try to go, I'm going with Docker, not Swarm or any other environment. I'm just going to go as minimal. Or you go down even below that because Docker is, and all of these are just using like container day. I can use container day and, and do my own orchestration. Yeah. So the idea is I want to use the capabilities in the system. Because um, it's okay. Yeah. All right. Reduce, um, reduce uh, risk of home grown. Um, process management um, problems. Which includes security. Security. I don't know, something there. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, this, I mean, interesting enough, the goal, because I, goals and, and motivations, right? I mean, there's, there's a little bit of a linkage there. I just don't know. Yeah. Well, that's why this is, this is a, right. I think this is a sub. Yeah. This is a sub under the motivation. Oh, yeah. It is. And then there's non goals. So, yeah. Um, Some things that happen that you didn't necessarily, positive things that happened that didn't necessarily intend to happen. Yeah. 
so this one's easier to see. So this best practice, we're not in the security one. We're not trying to um, handle fine grained access or deny all access to the host. It was a one limited area to try to um, reduce security issues. That's it but mm -hmm. not trying to handle all of the different security items on that. So yeah. that's that you could almost say this is like a summary of the motivation. So the, the motivation here is kind of like a higher, it gets into higher level as well, but. Higher level or detailed. So some of the motivations that we've done are talk about uh, business motivations. Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, the goals are kind of a summary, but the main thing I think is to separate what is in scope versus out of scope. Right. I'm going to put that. Um, and I'm going to Remove that because we're still working on this in. Oops, let's go. And what is that? Okay, yeah, that's another way to think about it. Sure. All right, I could do a, a non-goal. I don't know if, if I want to leave it, but um, practices for cross, um, Uh, something about when you split it. So if they say, hey, we normally put these together and now you're splitting it. We were talking about talking to the, like this one, as a way to contribute, but should interact with other processes through microservice API. So we're not going to say the best practices for doing to Communicate it. with it. Yeah, exactly. Without, yeah, exactly. That's outside of the scope of this one. And maybe it's a best practices for the CNF communication with other processes to the API. Yeah. Maybe just being for making it yeah, related to the CNF. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not going to find it here. Right. We may write it up somewhere else, but not here. Does this make sense? It does. All right. All right. Um, I'm just, I'm not going to delete this, but I'm going to mark it. I've done this in other ones. I stopped doing it here because it, it gets old, but I'll just do it like it doesn't really matter what color it is. Oh, other than it's so hideous that we can't. <laughs> you can't read it. Yeah. Is that readable? Kind of. Okay. So this should all be deleted. Um, example to be deleted. Right. All right. So then we actually are going to say when creating a pod container, da, 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 whatever it is. We don't, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't want to work on this now. Yeah, but that would be it. So this is we have the summary and then you're kind of going to say the same thing again when you start on the proposal, but you're expanding on it. This is we're saying do this. Why do yep. you want to do it? And then you go, OK, I'm, I agree. So 
let me see what I need to do. And now we actually tell them, here's what you're going to do. It's kind of like the implementation, so, you know, something. Yeah, helping them with implementation. I mean, we won't get into every details because there's always different things, but guiding them along proposal. If you're doing this, 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 and then where should you do it? You should do it in all pod types. Sometimes we said, this is not relevant to system or this is only for system pod types. System pod types would be those um, that are run by the main Kubernetes uh, namespace and group. It, it runs them like services, like the kube proxy. And sometimes people will write something, it may be an operator or container that's running in that type of space and it needs additional privileges and other things so that's why we need to say this uh, i'm sure as things are expanding on and we're thinking about also the workload in reference to telecom type workloads and we may think um user plane mm -hmm. control plane type things so i yeah. i think that could come into play with like the matrix stuff I think normally would be in a all in control plane. Yep, that's correct. And then we we could think about it from that side. And I think that's going to be helpful. And that can also go into the user stories. Okay. All right. This is good. I mean, I think we yeah, I don't know, you know, if you if we do this on the next Monday meeting or because I, I don't know how this works when you're if if we are, let's say we are 10 people. I mean, maybe that, you know, maybe it still works. Um, I found this I found this useful, um, especially you know when we're a couple of us, obviously different ideas, different frame of reference. Um, help us pull it together. Yeah, I think we can um, if we don't get to working on this before monday mm. i think we should be able to knock out the last parts this next monday if not, nothing else comes up as a higher priority and and then we can put in a pull request That's great at that point we tag as many people as we can try to get some reviews make any other updates and then get it put in place and then we can move on to the next one sounds great <clears throat> good good all right awesome i'll follow up with you and if we have some time this week then maybe we can continue on that one sounds good taylor all righty cheers cheers bye